Wait, don't hurt me. So what I'm doing with her today is I am taking her natural hair and I'm going to shape it to the style we are trying to get. She's going to get this cut into a shape so she can eventually wear it in a, a afro with a curly gel. That'd be curly. Her and the muffled sounding. Our masks make us muffled, so we need a new language. I haven't learned that one yet. <laughs> Just carefully listen. So what I'm doing with her is I'm actually taking out any snarling without causing her to be picked and plucked because she's gonna and she then she do this. And then we're gonna start cutting away at it. So we already know what we're trying to do, so we wanna leave most of her hair is gonna be full on the top. And we're just going to cut it. So, what I'm doing is I'm making like a V shape. So, it'll actually fall in that idea she wants. And so, it'll be all natural for her. And this back here, we're just going to take this down, but we're going in the wedge. So, you want to take this part and you're going to go in more and make it like that see how it looks like it's slightly wedging there so we're just going to do it like that without making a taper though we're not doing a taper wedge we're doing it where she has some more more hair back there and not too short she wants some more um thickness so and we're going to continue going on and shaping so what I'm doing with her is creating a, if you can notice, we're starting to create a shape here with her hair. This is very natural, just so you all know. And I'm just using my fingers to pluck everything out. And we're gonna take this down some more in here. And if you notice, we're just taking it down. Because she definitely wants that to have a little bit of shortness in here. So she can wear this part a little shorter. So and we'll just clean this up. So when she goes to coil this hair with her little twist she's going to wear, it's going to end up being very tight. And so we want to definitely keep her with some fullness here. So that when she wears it tight, she can actually have some something going on in here. So... And this is what I'm going to keep working on. I'm going to keep trimming at this. This is actually going to do your hair some good too because it actually cleans up those ends that she's had in here for quite a while. Okay, see there. All we're doing is shaping as we go along, so... Okay, so look what I'm doing here. So notice how now it's starting to take like a V shape in the back. Right around here, a V shape. It's actually clean that all up. And now look at this one side. It's actually starting to taper in. It went from full to taper. Now we're going in just a little bit. Because don't forget, when she goes and wrap, do her little twist, these, these are going to fall shorter. That's going to keep, we're going to keep that a little longer. So she has some definition here and not just all one puff all over the place. And then she can actually have a design there. Right here, so it's all on natural hair. Okay, so what I'm doing is still, I'm just chipping away at it because I don't want to take off a whole chunk of hair that she doesn't have any hair to leave a design, so, or some kind of style, so I'm chipping away at it just and shaping it as I'm going along, so. And if you notice, I'm doing it just like this because she wants this a little closer on the side where she can have definitely that definition of leaving all of this full. In the top, you can know, pull your mask a little higher if you like, and I can turn this around. Oh, that's smooth. Okay, so this is what we're going. This is exactly what we're getting here. Let's see. Now, when I go to pull this out, I want to be able to say I can take and twist yeah, that. That's short enough. Because if I take, if she goes home, this is too short. She ain't gonna curl that. So we want to do it enough so she can have room to play with that. So. Yeah. Alrighty, so this is what we're doing. 
Yeah, look at there. So that looks cute. And we know what we're looking for. So you probably you don't see what we see, but we see we know what we're looking for here. And we're just gonna keep chipping away at it. And we're leaving this. So when she goes to curl this up, it's gonna be full here, it's gonna be a wedge here, it's gonna be a little shorter on the bottom. If you notice the difference in length here, this one's shorter. This one's longer, so we're leaving this one a little shorter here. And this one definitely a lot longer. And by the time you get to the top, for us, we want to just take and trim, clean off the ends and stuff. So, okay, we'll keep clipping away and keep building on this idea of a style here. Okay, so I'm going to let you see the front view of what we're doing here, and you can actually see where it's going. And all I'm doing is the finger plucker, and then we can say, because I think we're going to take this down a little bit more on the sides there. But if you notice in the front, you close your eyes for a minute. See how it's starting to take shape right there in the front there? From I just pulled it right up, and then we can see it. So, and what I'm doing is I'm cutting it like this in an angle to give her that effect. See there? How it's coming out nicely. And then you get to this part, you just take the nip off the ends. Just nip it. Get the end and shaping it just so. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're just gonna take and uh, bring her hair right up like this, and then bend your scissors outward like you're doing it if your hair was smooth, and just shape it again. Even more on the top. Get to the end, get to the top, you just do a little nipping on that part, like that. And then you can continue to take her, make your shape. It's like a, almost like a V, but it's like a heart shape. If you notice it, it starts to get close and it starts to fall right in shape. So we want to, and then we're going to take that, clean that up. And... Then clean off this part. This part's gonna be full in the center, right about there. She wants that full, so when she twists this down, it's gonna be longer and fuller. See the difference in length here? And the difference here, so it's gonna be a difference here. So we'll just continue to trim this down. All right, so notice what we're doing. I know for you guys, it doesn't look like much, but for us, we see what we're dealing with here. We had a lot of hair, and we were all, it was all pretty much one length. And we're just, all we're doing is taking out what we don't need to give her an effect. So, and plus we need to clean off ends too, because some of the ends are kind of, you know, thrown out and need to be fixed up a little bit, so. Yep, so good. Got a lot of hair, that's for sure. Don't you, lady? You have a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. I choose to use my fingers because she doesn't like her hair combed or picked out. So we're doing it, we did it as natural as possible without all the stress. So, and despite my heavy hand fingers, it still survived the actual hair thing. <laughs> oh. You didn't tighten the hair off. Mm -mm. No, I'm going to leave it because by the time you twist that, it's mm -hmm. going to go right in place. So, so we are going to get this going so the effect it can be seen. Okay, so um, the, what we're doing, I'm going to show you how the front turned out. Pretty much in that idea of, see how we went out like that? It looks like a little fat heart 
type, type of way, you know, just roll right over. So just like that, that's what we want to do, and make it come a little taper to the sides in the back. So when she goes and quills this later on, we're gonna get that all settled up, and then we'll show you the outcome of that later, and another time. But right now, this is what we're gonna do, and this is how she wants to wear it, and uh, have it in her natural state. All righty. Thank you for watching. Bye. If you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, so this is the effect that she wanted. Just a little wedged out effect. She wanted fullness right here. A little closeness here. So when she goes to quill, this, this will change. Okay, so this is what we got. All right.